Okay, in this video, I am going to be showing you how to connect and set up our Wildwood trailer. So right here, I am lowering the trailer onto the hitch. It's a two and five sixteenths ball hitch. And once it's fully set in place, that little uh, lock pin will sit flush on the trailer and I secure it with that little locking pin sometimes you do have to kind of like wiggle it into place to fully lock i'm still lowering it until the jack um the jack stand fully raises the next thing i'm gonna do is plug in the seven way pin connection to my truck just push it in there it has its uh, specific little groove and now I'm gonna get the safety chains and connect those to my truck as well Sometimes you have to go like at a little angle to get the, the chains in, but most of them are standard and, and go in the same way. So I'm turning on the propane here to simulate that, um, you know, we'd be setting up at a campground. That is the battery disconnect. It has an off and on switch right there. <clears throat> if you ever dry camping and you know you want to preserve your battery you can um, disconnect the battery put it in the off position if you're away for the entire day um, there is a level wheel chokes and the stabilizer um, stabilizer jack to bring down the uh, stabilizers on all four sides what you can do is also use an impact drill with a three-quarter uh, socket and uh, it's just quicker um, it's what I use it's just since I'm doing it all the time it makes sense for me to use a little impact drill and and do that on on four sides it's just speeds up the process so these are stabilizer jacks that go in between the tires on each side. And that is the little um, ratchet that you use to tighten it against the tires. And all these accessories are found in the storage compartment in the front of the uh, trailer. If you are dry camping, this is where you would be filling up the fresh water tank. And it stores 30 gallons of fresh water. Coming around the back side here, the uh, drain pipe is located in the bumper and it connects to the trailer right there. And you do have the gray and black um, tanks. Gray is for sink and shower. Black is for the toilet deposit. One of the stabilizers is broken. There's a manual one that I use and that's also located in the um, storage compartment. The black cord in the storage compartment is the electrical and that plug -ins, plugs in right there. And I have an adapter as well if you are using a 12 volt, but most standard campsites have a 30 amp, which is that one right there. The water hose will also be located in the storage compartment and it does have a water pressure regulator that goes in right there. And the other side is just a standard um, water hose that fits in at your campsite <clears throat> again all these accessories for the trailer will be found inside the storage compartment in the front to go into the trailer there is a little two-step um, ladder that folds up into the trailer to release it you have to pull it up and out make sure it's sitting correctly 
um, on the steps in the grooves or else it's going to shift on you. Now we are inside the trailer and that top button is for the awning right there. Um, I always tell people if it's a really windy day, don't don't release the awning. It's going to cause damage to the awning and it's just going to be flapping around and, and really noisy. The slide out button is right below it. Sometimes it gets a little stuck um, and I have to give it a little push. Um, if if you're setting up the trailer with another person, you can have them um, push it as you're pushing the out button. Sometimes I just give it a little push with my foot and um, it has no problem going out. Um, yeah, it started doing that recently. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. I, I haven't really, um, I haven't fully checked that out, but it still works. It's, you know, just needs a little push. So this is the main bedroom. Uh, there's storage underneath the bed right there as broom and extra pillows and blankets in there this is your um panel it shows the battery level it shows the fresh water tank the black uh, tank and the gray tank levels sometimes the black tank is indicating one-thirds or two-thirds full and you know right after i empty it out sometimes toilet paper gets stuck on the the inside and the sensor is, you know, reading the toilet paper rather than the actual deposit. Next to that is the water pump and the water heater. So once that little red light goes off, when you push the water heater button on, um, that indicates that the um, propane is being lit in the back. And then once you turn on, turn on the water pump, you will have access to your fresh water tank. So make sure you're turning both of those off when you are done using them. This is the entertainment center. You have a Bluetooth stereo with the Bluetooth pin right below it. It's zero, 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 zero. And you got video games, card games, Nintendos, Super Nintendos. This is a uh, pull out couch. So it pulls up and out and um, you can have somebody sleep there as well. It's not very, it's not very long. So kids, kids will probably be able to sleep there um because they're it's shorter you got your cooking accessories you got your trash can down there trash bags utensils knives can opener lighters microwave your full fridge right here and the fridge you can run it off of electrical or propane so if you're not hooked up to an electrical campsite you can utilize the propane. You would click that button on and then click the button out for it to be lit with propane. And then vice versa, if you're connected to electrical, you, you click the button in for electrical. So this table does convert to a bed. That table um, lifts up. Those two uh, poles underneath it go laying down. That table lays flat on the lip and the cushions lay on top of the table. So we have our check-in and check-out list as well as our help guide binder. We got that ladder there for the top bunk, our closet with extra towels, our full restroom. And we do add a complimentary RV gray toilet paper. There's more underneath there if you need it. And um, anything else that isn't um, in the trailer, do not, like, if you bring your own toilet paper, do not flush it down the toilet. Because um, chances are it's not RV grade and it's not going to flush down the toilet and it's going to clog the toilet. Um, and that's why I put that sign there. But um, you'd be surprised how many people still flush their own toilet paper down there so right here you got the ac and the heater um and that bottom button will allow you to toggle through 
and um and uh set your settings for heat or ac the heat does work off of propane as well um so if you are dry camping you can utilize the uh heater and the um, furnace is right there underneath the kitchen um unless you're hooked up to a campsite you or a generator you can't utilize the ac sorry about the blurriness camera kept trying to focus that's pretty much it for our wildwood if you have any questions or concerns regarding this trailer or anything that i covered feel free to text me or call me